God bless everybody today. It is November 2nd of 2023. I'm doing basically two articles in one here, but the title basically gives you everything. Iran backed Houthis target Israel, and so the Houthis, Yemen Houthis, are in those uh, conflict now, and Hezbollah moles entering the war. Um, I've got an article I'm going to show you where he's getting ready to set up a speech at this very moment and talk about what they're going to do. So, and I'd still say you could see something happen potentially in the next few days with Turkey around November 5th because they're not going to sit this game out. So we'll see where that goes. So it indicates here that uh, Yemen, Yemen's Houthis armed by Iran launched ballistic missiles at Israel's southernmost city Elat on Tuesday in what could signal an expansion of the Gazan War. The Houthi rebels officially entered the Israeli Hamas war on Tuesday. So that was on uh, the 31st. So they now entered the war as we move into November here. Um, the Yemeni armed forces, and this is some, the Houthis. Okay, so the Houthis are the Yemeni armed forces confirmed that this operation was the third operation support of our oppressed brothers in Palestine. So, and we will continue to carry out more quantitative strikes with missiles and drones until the Israeli aggression stops. And this is the guy here. And you can watch his speech if you really want to. Um, they've been a real problem since about 2015. And they have claimed to support Palestinians uh, since this attack on October 7th. And it also indicates that um, the missile attack once again raises concern that the war between Israel and Hamas could potentially involve other regional actors like Hezbollah, the Houthis, different things. Um, Hezbollah in Lebanon published a third video of its leader on Tuesday, also on the 31st. See, this is all organized, very orchestrated, setting off another round of speculation whether Hezbollah may be planning to declare war on Israel on Friday. So, you got to watch that. That's uh, tomorrow, that's the third, and then possibly you have another player coming in. Uh, Turkey on the 5th, possibly. So, um, we're trying to do everything we can to slow this down, I guess, in the leadership of this country. But Israel's not going to slow down. They're literally um, destroying Gaza right now uh, to get these um, extremists out of there. So... Uh, we'll see how this all turns out. Let's look at the second article. And in this article, as it indicates, um, we're going to see Hezbollah's leader come out and speak on Friday, November the 3rd. Uh, Nazarol um, has not given a seat since October 7th when Hamas struck. Um, so he's going to come out and basically... Uh, tell these fighters that he's basically giving them the okay to attack Israel also. Um, this is going to keep ramping up. Turkey's going to get into this real soon. And we've been talking about Turkey for some time. I just wanted to bring this up real quick. Um, you got a lot going on out here. I'm not going to keep going into all these different articles and things. You just need to understand all the players that are coming out at this very moment as we move forward into this. And realize this is moving at ballistic speed. This is moving extremely fast to the point where it's hard to keep up. There's so many players on board right now and there's so much going on out here that we really need to keep watching everything as we move forward. Um, and like I say, you've got that November 5th um, date of the Battle of Issus, which was when the Medes or Kurds um, literally attacked... Um, Alexander the Great, or in this case, Turkey, uh, before that invasion comes down. So that's something else I'm looking at. Will it happen on the 5th? I don't know. It happened in the history on the 5th. It seems like things are moving rapidly. So we will see what Erdogan does in the next few days or week um, as we move forward. Um, you know, will it hit on the 5th? I don't know. Maybe it'll happen on the 7th, you know. 
<laughs> a month afterwards. I have no idea. Keep your eye on everything. You need to keep um, filling your oil lamp. Things are getting here. This is starting to break. Don't let this thing catch you guys off guard. Um, the last thing you want to do is be running out for food at the very last minute while everybody else is trying to ransack the shelves at the same time. So um, be safe. Keep your eye on this one. This one is moving rapidly. And um, you need to find the open door and you need to find Jesus. You need to find the way to the to the next level on this one. Um, this one's getting down here. I've got 14... 128 days to the Feast of Trumpets on October 2nd of 27. In my opinion, that's when the Lord will come back. Some may disagree with that. God bless. Be safe. Things are moving quickly.